friend of mine told me just, the other, just recently, he had accidentally kicked his on while he was doing this, and he managed while he was pulling the chuck key out to squish his hand a little bit, but he didn't break it all up. Um, one of our commenters mentioned about how somebody had turned a lathe on with the chuck key in and their hand on it. Well, your, your hand on the chuck key, that goes back to that old rule that they talk about, never leave the chuck key in there. It doesn't hurt anybody if it's just in there by itself. But if my hand is on it, now I need to really be careful as to what's going on, because then I get wrapped up in it. Now it's a, a real danger. When you're first starting out, put your part in the lathe, Take your chuck key out before you machine off, everything off. Be sure that it's off. Put this in neutral. And a lot of times you can do that too. Even with the clutch running, you may want to move this to a different location. Um, slide it into a neutral gear. Some machines, this one here has a neutral spot and a neutral spot, but that's not the only neutral spot. There's actually a neutral spot between two gears here too. They just didn't mark it. A lot of your old machines, you will have a neutral spot between two gears that's not marked. They figured you're smart enough to know that that's a neutral to kick it out. Now, even with the motor running, this is pretty safe. Um, but again, if you are new to the machine, clutch out if it has one, motor off, everything to where it doesn't rotate. Because that's the part that gets you in trouble is if it rotates when you're not expecting it, whether it's your chuck in here, uh, something you're grabbing around the piece, whatever. And a real good one to do, which is part of why, let's go over here to the four jaw. Don't know that we got anything in the four jaw. No, nope, nothing in it, but same idea. And this is why I don't, tr I have been lately, yes, I've been trying to leave these in for the commenters because it does get more comments and people like it, you know, like to comment how terrible I am for leaving men. But in a non-YouTube world, sometimes we would leave them in, and that was where it first started that people were picking on me. Sometimes it's laying here, laying here, might be over in the bin. We might have changed chucks. This might be the wrong key. Uh, we have multiple chuck keys for this machine, so we can't just hang one up and say that's going to be the place that it lives. We should have more room in the shop, have a place for each one color-coded with the chuck. It's not realistic. But here is why a lot of times I want to have the chuck key in the lathe when I come in the next day. 